It is Thursday, the first day of February. I'm Stephen Graves with your news to go. Boynton Beach police are looking for the person they say shot in another car. You're looking at a video right here. This happened on Tuesday around noon at the intersection of North Seacrest Boulevard and Minor Road. If you have any information, make sure you call police. The Florida Department of Health issuing a rabies advisory in St. Lucie County after a reported incident involving a bat at a movie theater. The theater is Touch Star Cinemas in Fort Pierce. State health officials say if you visited that theater recently, you need to contact the Department of Health. Metal detectors are being installed today at Palm Beach Central High School. It's part of a so-called soft launch of the equipment. But the official start date is Monday. Metal detectors will also soon be installed at Boynton Beach, Park Vista, and Forest Hill High Schools. Four other high schools in the Palm Beach County area are already using metal detectors in a pilot program. In Riviera Beach, Councilman Todrick McCoy is being reported to the state after sources say he got into a fight with another councilman. During a meeting, another council member revealed 19 city employees have already previously filed abuse complaints against him. The council voted to send those reports to both the governor's office and the Commission of Ethics. Sandra. Alrighty, and weather wise, we are going to see a daytime high today at about 71 to 73, but it's an impact weather situation for the first half of the day, I'd say, because just the brisk winds and the low 60s still, and we began this morning in the 40s. So, I mean, just you know that you can take off those layers later this afternoon with variably cloudy to partly sunny skies.